in around 2004, my wife came across an application essentially for a cooking themed reality show. I was selected as one of the 10 competitors to compete on that reality show, but I wasn't feeling 100%. Things like difficulty swallowing or, you know, digestion issues, but a lot of the things that were kind of bothering me during that time, every one of those symptoms I could very easily chalk off to stress. I came back home, came to the regional hospital. They, of course, did this battery of tests and looked at my stats and said, hang on a second, this guy has got to be bleeding internally. She had the, the sense to run an endoscopy. Sure enough, they found a tumor right at that GI junction. We got the phone call from the GI doctor. He's like, so yeah, it is, it is cancer and it's right there at your GI junction. And it was the day before my 33rd birthday we were referred to an Atlanta area oncologist and he recommended me to an institution in Houston. The doctor said to me, well, I'd say you have about a 10% chance of surviving this thing, which I was stage 3B, stage four being the worst that, you know, that there is. In that moment, I thought, okay, 10%. Then I looked at the wall that was just over his shoulder and I thought, well, that wall is 90% wall and 10% door. Rather than focusing on the 90% chance that I'm not going to make it, I'm going to focus on that 10% door. It wouldn't say 10% if somebody hadn't made it through that door. They had removed the top half of my stomach and about 50% or the lower half of my esophagus. I was prescribed a pretty intense regimen of combined chemo and radiation. Post chemo and radiation, we found that I had developed a leak between my half stomach and half esophagus, which they ended up having to go in and remove all of my stomach and all of my esophagus. I've had 15 plus surgeries. I think I kind of stopped counting at 15. I like to think of, of my, my cancer or my cancer experience as, as my rocket fuel to, to really accomplish things in life. Being a chef, you always want to think about things like flavor and presentation and you know how mouth feel. You don't want to think too much about the nutrition side of things. I had to really slow down, pay attention to that connection between what I eat and how I feel. The other control in, in this whole experience is, is exercise. So a friend of mine recommended to me that I try pickleball. I finally gave it a try and absolutely fell in love with it. By fueling this engine correctly, eating a lot of high protein foods, you know, really being mindful of, of what I'm eating, that combination of diet and exercise, I have more energy than most of my peers. There is this old adage that you never trust a skinny chef. And uh, I might be skinny as hell, but I think I'm doing pretty good. If I can help somebody with just that little bit of their success story, I'm, I feel like I've, I've succeeded.